Okay, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you a little about shipping in VirtuMark 2.0. Um, so once you, uh, so if you want, let me just start by saying let's create a new one. So we want to create a new one. We just call it something like standard shipping, standard shipping, or you can give it seven to ten days. You can call it, um, you know, Express or whatever else you want if you want to charge a different amount of money for different types. But uh, this cart, we just have one kind of shipping. It's just called standard shipping. Um, you can add a description there if you want. Now, once you save it, you'll you'll get to the you'll see the configure. You won't see the configuration until you save it. Now that you saved it, you can see the configuration options here. So um, for countries, we'll just put United States since that's the only country we want to ship it to. We could um, the the lowest weight and the highest weight and the shipping cost. Okay, so let's say um, we want to charge shipping uh, five dollars and sixty cents for anything from uh, anything from anything from uh, we're gonna change kilograms of pounds obviously so from anything from uh, one pound to um, let's say seven pounds all right five dollars and sixty cents and if it costs if it's more than seven pounds it'll be a little bit more we'll create a different shipping rule for that so we need to create a shipping rule for each range of weights that we're going to be dealing with in this card here um, so that's basically it. The only thing I don't like about this is because um, when I when I give it a name, that's what's going to show up for the um, the uh, the client and in, in, the, in the cart. So I um, I could call it uh, standard shipping. Uh, one, well, I think I'm going to now just because. Uh, Let's just call it standard shipping one to seven pounds. One to seven pounds. All right, one to seven pounds. Save and close. Standard shipping one to seven pounds. And then um, let's uh, delete these. So uh, And let's say we created another one. It's called standard shipping under one pound. Under is there a sign for under under one one pound? Okay. And anything under one pound, let's say it's going to be uh, the lowest rate would be well actually I think we want to do uh, I'm not sure how 1.9 pounds maybe um, it, I think we want to change it to under 2 pounds and then um, and I want the shipping to cost 250 um, so we'll just do like from 1 From one to um, from from we'll just call it like from one to one to one point nine pounds. I'm not sure. We'll can change that later if we need to. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. We'll call it under two pounds. Let's just change the name of this. Standard shipping under two pounds. Okay. I'm gonna create one more called uh, standard shipping. Standard shipping um, under one pound. So we're, do, we're using the weight. Let's just name it as standard shipping under one pound this time. So uh, let's save that. And then we'll call it 50 cents or something like that. 
just have to be careful um, when you're assigning your weights when you do this that um, sometimes it's more important to use an artificial weight to make sure you get the correct shipping than the accurate weight um, the okay so the lowest weight would be uh, let's say zero to anything from zero to uh, the highest weight of up to uh, one one pound or just zero point nine pounds or something like that to the highest weight okay so any anything like that would just get uh, This, we're really doing this for stickers uh, in this particular case. So um, anything under one pound at, in the countries, United States, United States. Okay. Let's see here. So we have our uh, under one pound, under two pounds, one to seven pounds, um, and then maybe uh, we'll create another one standard shipping shipping uh, seven to seven over se over seven pounds let's just say here say over over seven pounds okay What happened? Standard shipping over seven pounds. Pounds, United States, and um, so here we go. The lowest rate would be seven. There is no highest weight, but we can just put a hundred here. Let's just put a hundred. Alright, so save and close. Why isn't it saving the name correctly? Standard shipping over over seven pounds. Save that. What's going on? Save. Standard shipping over seven. I think it's looking at that symbol as some form of HTML or something. It's not applying it in this case. So we'll just put the uh, Seven pounds and up. Let's just save that. That should work. All right, seven pounds and up. One to seven pounds. One pound. Under under one pound seems to work. All right. So now, when you're going into your products, you just want to make sure that you have weights that make sense uh, with those shipping rates that. Uh, we just created so products let's say we have a sticker it doesn't matter what the real weight is as long as we don't charge a lot of money for it. is anything under uh, you know we just want the cost of a stamp if they order one and we definitely don't want them getting charged uh, two dollars and fifty cents just because they ordered three because it doesn't really cost much more to order three so the smart thing to do with this weight would just just call it like one like 0 0.1 pound they don't have to order uh, quite a lot of stickers to um we could even make it a smaller fraction than that it doesn't matter because they're just going to get charged uh, 50 cents um, no matter how much they owe so for a sticker I'd put a really light weight make sure that the whole shipment no matter how many stickers they order stays under a pound 
Now, like even with the sticker pack of three, for example, the weight doesn't need to be, it doesn't really need to be anything. Um, so we'll just go in here and we'll look at the, <coughs> it just, it could just be like zero, 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 one. It really doesn't matter because um, they're, they're still going to get charged the 50 cents um, for, for that. Now let's go into the shirts. Um, originally, when I did this, I um, had well. This is, well. Let's just do this other product. Let's do this bracelet since that's what I clicked on. <clears throat> Here for the weight is going to be. Um, uh, I want it to be two fifty. If I remember correctly, I think I set that as um, as long as it's under under uh, two pounds, it'll be it'll be um, two dollars and fifty cents so if they were to order two of these they 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 would get charged more money but uh, by ordering uh, one of these they'd get charged 250 I could create another rule like between uh, three pounds you know and something like that to get the cost of those for two if I if I needed to change that but I uh, it'll just probably divert to the next level up which would be the 560 which is really what I created for the shirts um, 250 so the um, the shirts here there's not a lot of products so it's pretty easy to figure out shipping rules now but if, if this client adds more products, he might have to uh, modify the shipping rules. <clears throat> so underneath um, the, uh, let me just leave this as zero because I'm changing the stock to zero because we've got child products with stock there. So under weight for the shirts, I don't know what the actual weight is, but I think anything over two pounds is 560, right? So so um, we can just call it uh, two pounds. Well, no, we can call it uh, three pounds, up to seven pounds. So if you order two of them, you'd still pay the same amount of money. If you order three of them, you might pay a little bit more. So the client might want to adjust the um, saving clothes. Okay, so three pounds. This is what they're going to weigh. Now let's see if we go back to... I, so if we go to the... Um, go to the cart. Say we want to order uh, two of these shirts. Alright. Go to the cart. Let's show the cart. I believe if they were three pounds each, it's six pounds. It still puts us under seven pounds. It should only be... Uh, well, let me remove one. I had one in my cart already. Okay, standard shipping is one to seven pounds is showing up. It's five sixty. But if I added another one, let's say there, here we reset. It's gonna put me over the seven pounds. It's give me. I never added a a price to that though. So standard shipping seven pounds and up. Uh, I I was thinking that's maybe I forgot to do that. Configuration shop shipping methods. All right. So if we go seven pounds and up, we didn't actually enter a a shipping cost in the configuration. So let's call it seven dollars or seven ninety nine. Yeah, that looks good. All right. So seven ninety nine. <clears throat> At that point, it doesn't matter um, how many you order. They're just going to keep charging more. So um, there you go. That's basically how to uh, assign um, shipping based on weights and modify the weights in your cart. Um, and it's kind of complicated uh, if you've got a lot of products, but maybe not really if, it, if you're truly basing this on weight and you're generally getting your weights correct. It should be okay. And thanks for watching.